Well, inside these barrels is where the beer is going to age to give you the bourbon barrel stout here at BBC. Bluegrass Brewing Company in Louisville, Kentucky. The beer and bourbon together in one delicious glass. So this will be packaged probably tomorrow. Wow. So it's about as fresh as it gets. Well, this is right from the source. Brew the stout, mm -hmm. then pull it out. We actually hose it in from the tank into the bourbon barrels. Wow. And then we age it for 60 days. Put it, basically blend it back in with another stout, a regular stout, to give it a level of consistency. The original. Yeah, the, ori the original stout. And you blend yeah. it back in. Yeah, it's almost like a transfusion. It's carbonated, and uh, it'll be bottled and kegged tomorrow. So this is about as fresh as it gets. Cheers. Well, here's Cheers. to BBC. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Doesn't kill you. What Dave, what, what Dave's done is, you, you, get, you get the bourbon, and especially it's served a little bit warmer here. Mm -hmm. You get the nose, but you get the, the bourbon taste really in the finish, and not as much in the front end. It's got a little roasted barley in it that most stouts have, which is uh, unmalted barley, and they roast it till it's black. But it also has a lot of chocolate malt, which is the color of milk chocolate, and it has kind of a coffee uh, chocolate aftertaste to it. I actually couldn't even stand the smell of bourbon when we started doing this. And uh, I started filling the first barrels, and I had to turn it over to Joel because the, the smell was knocking me over, and Joel's just loving it. He's talking about cherry candy and cinnamon butter that he was getting out of the, the aroma coming out of the barrel. And, I said, oh, you're full of crap. Okay, I think we can actually throw one of these babies over and actually... Okay, sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, typically we pick them up the minute they, uh, the minute they moist it up. You smell that? It's fantastic. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> heavenly. That's really... <laughs> bourbon in its first life is bourbon, but then it becomes beer in other lives. So it's like just basically taking a look at yeah, Louisville and, and yeah, beer. Yeah, Louisville and beer, exactly. This is like a museum. Yeah. yeah. So you can enjoy your beer and have a yeah. have a stroll down memory lane. Right this is the this is the big fella. Fella. So this is uh, aged in 23 year old barrels, right. nine months, and uncut. Basically, we just carbonated it and, and put it in the kegs. Uncut meaning we didn't tamper with it whatsoever. The other so, one was three months, right? Three months, yeah. This is three times. Well, and it's in 23 year old. Yeah. Which which bourbon? Uh, this this was a private label that goes out to Japan. You know the Japanese, as you know, the Japanese love their bourbon. Yeah, oh, yeah. So this was a special. I couldn't tell you who the, what the distiller That's was, right. but it's basically cut especially for uh, the Japanese 23-year-old barrels that went out the door. We won't see it in America. So. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to the big fella. Yes. The really big one. That's big. It's good. Isn't it? That is nice, though. Yeah. You can really get the... Yeah. <laughs> <That one. laughs> the other one I wasn't tasting so yeah. much alcohol in. This one, yeah. I'm getting it. <laughs> it's tasty, though. Yeah. It's really delicious, yeah. though. And it's to celebrate the half. It's the halfway halfway, halfway to St. Patrick's. Which will be which day? Which would be it. It, it always varies, but it's going to be mid. Going to be mid September because of uh, uh, six months later is going to be mid mid March, which is March seventeenth of St. Patrick's. And this is only available for a short time. Mm. This is it's only being served on tap on here tap. or at, at the O'Shea's family bars, which is uh, Flanagan's, Brendan's, and, and O'Shea's. So this is a very small batch. Though. A very small batch. Yeah, we only it's only keg, uh, six kegs. Well, I feel very lucky yes. to be having it. Yeah. Have fun. This is nice. Visit bourbonblog.com for online video coverage because the stories are more than just about bourbon. They're also about the spirit of the South. We only encourage responsible drinking by those who are of legal age to drink in their countries or regions. So be safe and be legal.